Hello friends, today we will learn Rook vs Knight endgame. It is a difficult endgame, but if you use some principles, you can win this endgame. In order to win this game, you should isolate the knight. Then force the knight to move to the edge of the chessboard and capture it. Do not attack directly to the opponent king. If the knight is in the corner of the chessboard, in these green squares, you can capture easily the knight. If the knight is in the blue squares, in the edge of the chessboard, but not in the corner, you can also agree chance to win the game. If the opponent king is in the center of the board, the game will end in a draw. Therefore, you should force the knight to move to the edge of the chessboard. In this game, white will try to isolate the knight. White rook threatens to pin the knight. Black king defends it. The maneuver of white king. White king tries to control to control c2 and d2 squares and then rook will pin the knight. The escape of the knight. The maneuver of white king is completed and now white controls the d column. It controls this side. And now white king will play c3 then c2 and the rook will checkmate by playing rook a8. The escape of the knight. And now black is successful to isolate the knight. Now the king and the knight are separated. The black knight tries to return and to be next to the black king, but white will not permit it. These squares are controlled by white pieces, therefore black knight is still isolated. These squares are controlled by the king. Black knight now is in the edge of the chessboard. All of the return squares are controlled by the white pieces. And the knight is captured. White will win the game. Let's say another example. Black knight is in the edge of the chessboard. White king attacks the knight and there is a checkmate threat by the rook. Black knight moves to g3 square in order to prevent this checkmate. This is a very good move. Now black knight cannot go to these squares which are controlled by white pieces. It can go only to h1 square. Attack to the knight and now white king attack attacks the knight and there is a checkmate threat. White wins the game. After king f2, black king is obligated to move his king and white will capture the knight and he will win the game. In this example, white will try to isolate the knight, but there is a special case. The black king is in the corner, therefore there is a chance to win the game by checkmating the king. The knight is pinned, double attack. And now there is a checkmate threat by the rook. If black knight make knight g7 move, after rook g5, the black knight will be captured. Therefore, black plays knight 
this 8. Now these squares are controlled by the White King. Therefore, Black Knight is started to be isolated. Now, White Rook controls d8 square and Black Knight cannot go next to his king. Black Knight is isolated. Normally, White must attack the Knight and try to capture it. But now, Black King is in the corner and White will checkmate it. After rook a8, white will win the game. Thank you for watching us. Please click like button if you liked our video or subscribe to our channel in order to watch new chess videos. See you again.